What's going on here? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today, we're going to be looking at the Formula Drift Car Pack. And if you were one of the people that pre-ordered the game, you're one of the people that have access to this. But unfortunately, if you have not pre-ordered the game, I don't think you do have access to this. Maybe you can purchase it later. I really don't know. I don't know for sure. This might be an add-on that you can buy separately. I just know for a fact that uh, this was offered to everybody that pre-ordered the game. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at these cars and we're going to show you guys why well, we're in reverse. We're going to show you guys what we are, what we have access to. We're going to pick them all up. They're all legendary cars. So we got to view all cars. We got to go flying over to the Formula Drift. All right. So who do these cars belong to, guys? Now, some of these liveries are a little bit weird. Um, I wouldn't say weird, but they must be new. They must be, they're not the actual accurate ones if you were to look it up. But the only person that drifts this bad boy is Josh Robinson. Justin Pollock's Roche Mustang, of course. Dean Carnage Carney's Dodge Viper. This is a very, very notorious, very well-known Formula Drift car. Coming up here, this is, of course, Matt Fields. Again, I believe there's another driver that drives something pretty similar to this, but this is Matt Fields' car. This car is painted a little different it's looking like a brownish gold and actually the car that is drifting in formula drift is like yellow but it is the aem car this is Corey hosford now this car took me a little bit to figure out who the hell it was and i don't even really really know why it took me a bit but alec honnendale's rain x 240 sx and then of course we have michael s's 325i so we're going to pick up all of these cars here and we're just going to bring them for a little short drift. We're going to leave them stock. We're not going to do anything crazy. Now, I'm not going to go put a bunch of engine parts into these things. I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on them. I'm just going to go out and get a good feeling for them. We're going to do them all in this video, too. So, really only going to spend you know, about a minute or two in them. We're hitting the tree yep oh okay so this has six gears they are not all the same i was thinking maybe they were all just going to be exactly the same but this one's geared completely different than the rain x car again the rain x car alec honnendale's car is the only one that i've actually got any drift time in I must say that as much as I don't like the look of that car, that thing is nice. That thing drifts real nice. I like it. I like the way that one drifts. I like the six gears. Fifth gear was real nice. I like that car. That's a cool one. That's going to bring us into Justin Pollock's Roush Mustang. All right, so this is another four gear banger. Go left this way. Turn 
Oh, that car was okay. It was another four banger. I had to kind of tune it a little bit. I actually had to make the gears a little longer. It was just the, I don't know if it was the road I was drifting or what, but it's still an awesome car. It's just those four geared cars, they're meant to drift in third gear. You can tell they're tuned to drift in third gear. And unless you put an engine and the differential and all that stuff in there, you really can't tune it out of that way. Um, so, yeah, a, a unique car. Not as good as the first one, I must admit. Not as good as the first one, but still, I really like that car. I like the I like Justin Pollock's Roush Mustang. I guess that's a nice Formula Drift car. So now we're going to go and pick up the next one. I'm going to try to pick a little better line there, too. I was trying to just switch it up and go into a different uh, different, different road, but that was not smart. All right, Dean Carnage Carney's Viper. This should be an interesting one. I'll check out what this one has for gears here as well. All right, another four gear. Try to find a decent area to go from this place. Oh, I got caught by the asphalt right there. Uh -huh. Traffic still sucks in this game, I'll tell you that much. That one was an animal. That's the best one so far. That one was real nice. Fourth gear and that thing was ripping down the roads. Third gear was really good, really responsive. That car was the easiest one to throw the angle in, too. Or is a good car. I'm talking past tense because we're done driving it. But, yeah, that's that's a great, that's a good drift car. That's a good one. All right, moving on to Matt Fields 240. Oh, yeah, she's a beaut. She's a beaut. Damn traffic, I always pulling you out of your line. Come on, how realistic is traffic? There's no traffic on the roads, come on now. Traffic. Turns out the road that I live on here with my road, that's the best road to be on. So uh, we figured that out, but that's good. We figured it out now. I guess we're only halfway through. Matt Fields 240SX definitely did not let us down by any means. It was another four banger in the gears. 
but she was real good. Third gear and fourth gear were very responsive. There wasn't a bunch of leg like that was in the Mustang. Mustang had a lot of leg, I must say. So there's two cars left that I haven't tried. We've already tried the Rain X car. We're still going to show it in this video, of course, since we're reviewing the pack. But uh, these last two, I'm, I'm pretty... Oh, it's, it's a bit more yellow than, than what it looked like there. I must say, Hoonigan really gets their name on a lot of these cars, don't they? That was another very good car. I really like that one. I don't know what it is about that Mustang. It's not that I don't like it, but that's been a really odd car thus far. Very odd car when it comes to the, to the rest of them. The rest of them have been awesome drifters. A lot of response. No, there's no leg. It's just bam. Get in the gear and you're good to go. I guess I about bought it. It was going to cost me 300000 Son of a gun. I already got one in my garage. Don't got to pay a 300000 for it. So this is the one that does not have the door tags. It is Alec Honnendale's yeah, 240SX. It's just a little bit odd. That's why it took me a bit to figure it out. I could not... Couldn't see the door tags. Well, there is no damn door tags. There's no number. There's no name on the damn thing. So this car has that leg in fourth gear. Again, it's, it's got that weird leg. That laggy leg going on. So you might say, just black chip just going third gear. Well, then I'm like, I don't have the speed. I have the speed to street drift here. Again, traffic completely throwing you off. You got to rip the handbrake, then you go flying off the road. Yeah, so this is almost another one that's got to be tuned up a little bit. Third gear is too low, but fourth gear is too high. So what do you want? Do you want to drift in third gear? Do you want to drift in fourth gear? It's too slow for that. So we got to just, we got to bump it up a little bit to this, or we got to bump it down a bit to this. So kind of uh, one of them odd cars again, kind of comparable to the Stain. One of those ones that you're going to want to mess with in tune. Now, the more I started thinking about it too, these cars are probably already built. Let's maybe check that out. Let's go look at the upgrades here. Oh no, they're not. They're not. They're not built already. So you do got a lot of customizability. You can make any of these cars work however you want to make them work, which is good. That's good to hear. I was kind of worried that maybe they were already built up, but eh, it doesn't really make sense that way either way. So we got the last car, right? We're on the BMW, an old Beamster, Hatelli, 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 Andy Hatelli. I thought this was. Oh, I thought this was Michael Lessa. Andy Hatelli, that's who this one is. All right, okay, all right, mistakes were made. Glad we got them figured out.
All right, so the last one of the Formula Drift Pack. And yes, I was wrong on the driver. Give me a break, son of a gun. Another four banger. That one, uh, that was a little bit unique of a car right there. So, as opposed to the other ones that were four bangers, I could really drift a lot better in third gear as opposed to fourth gear on the same line. So that one has a lot of oomph behind it. It's got a lot of a lot of bang for its buck. Uh, RPM was seemed to be a little bit lower and whatnot too, but still didn't feel like I was. Well, I was still banging it off the rev limiter, but it was uh, not quite as drastic as it was with some of those other cars in third gear. So this is another unique one. Definitely, definitely is. That's going to pretty much do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to run through the cars, show you guys what cars were available in the Formula Drift Pack, and give you my opinion on each of them in case you guys were wanting to know about it a little bit and just show you guys that didn't pre-order it. Hey, this is what you maybe missed out on. Maybe you're going to want to pre-order Forza Horizon 5. I'm just kidding. We're not going to be talking about a game that's coming out in two years. Okay, guys. So, as always, I appreciate y'all tuning in, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing the videos. Be a share in the videos. A lot of cars in this game still to be touched. A lot of action yet to come. Also, if you have not checked out my second channel, my new channel, Black Sheep Lifestyle, go check it out. I've been slacking a little bit this last week. I wouldn't say it's slacking. It's just I don't have time. Didn't have any time to do it. Didn't even have any time for any Black Sheep TV videos. So we will definitely be having some new videos coming out on that channel relatively soon. The goal for that channel is one video a week. And like I said, we'll be trying to meet that quota plus more as we move forward and we get more demand, guys. As always, guys, I hope you all stay happy out there. Please stay positive. We will definitely speak to you next time.